Hi guys, welcome back in this new episode of Detailing Guru and this one has been on request for quite a while. How to polish your PPF. When we are talking PPF, who better to invite than my friend Steph, who is our PPF trainer. Steph, welcome and back at the GEC. It's getting our second home. Yeah, hi. Uh, question I have to ask you, can we polish PPF? Of course we can polish PPF. It's not bulletproof, so there are things that can happen to PPF. I mean, in terms of defects, you can have bird droppings, maybe some water spotting or oxidation. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, Geon PPF is self-healing, so the light scratches will remove by themselves. Mm -hmm. um, but although we can, might be able to, to remove some scratches uh, by polishing the, the top coat or the top surface of the PPF. Exactly. I also think that um, sometimes people forget uh, water, hard water, not only water spots, but the hard water that leaves a film on PPF is also one of the things that we can remove by, by polishing it. Behind me we have a black BMW with PPF on it. It has 50,000 kilometers. Let us show you what we can and cannot remove. Polishing paint and polishing PPF are two different things. Steph, how should I approach it? Well, first of all, you need to think about that PPF is a plastic, mm -hmm. so not to overheat during machine polishing, because if you overheat, you will damage the PPF and it will be non-restorable. So go with the light, pad and abrasive combination. And low speed. Yes, we have a dedicated product, which is PPF Renew. Uh, in combination with the blue or the white pad on a dual action should be fine. So not too aggressive, taking time. Take it easy, take your time, and then you should be fine. So let's put it to the test. I'm done polishing a pretty abused part on this bonnet, so let me show you. Okay, so what we see is quite a big enhancement compared to the other part, which also had water spotting from the hard water. Uh, there are still some scratches in the PPF, which are under the top coat, which we could not remove by machine polishing. So as you can see, it's quite the improvement, but I polished on the top coat. And Steph, did I do any harm by polishing the top coat? Yes, like we know, the whole range of Gion PPF have a hydrophobic top coat, but when you machine polish, you're most likely to diminish the hydrophobic and self-cleaning properties, mm -hmm. or even kill the hydrophobic properties, so. Okay, so if you polish your PPF and you want to get back those hydrophobic properties, you will have to recoat your PPF. Any more things that you can add? Yes, we have a dedicated product, which is PPF EVO, which you could use to recoat the surface and the whole procedure that we just did. It's not only for PPF, but also, for example, for a glossy vinyl wrap film. But not on matte wraps? No, not matte. Then it will become glossy, yeah? so we don't want that. Cool. I hope you liked this episode. If you have any problems or questions regarding how to polish your PPF, write them down below in the comments. We are out. Ciao. Ciao.